Hi fans of high quality entertainment. Once again, another video idea I recently thought of. And this list isn't, um, there's no ranking or anything. It's just actually, it was going to be 10, but I ended up with 11. And it is 11 rock stars, you know, musicians that are in bands that have, you know, their fans. And the one thing against them is they don't look like your typical rock star. They're, they're something, you know, if you didn't know they were in a band, if they weren't as known as some of them are, you would never, just looking at them, consider them to be in a rock band. At least to me. <laughs> and so let's start. And like I said, it's not ranked or anything. And there are 11 that I've chosen. And of course, there's many more. And I'm curious what other musicians you think aren't your typical looking rock stars. First up is Roy Orbison. Yeah, uh, back in the early 60s, he, he kind of stood out with his glasses and... Uh, just not, you know, nothing against his talent, his amazing talent, but he did not look like your typical rock star. Bun E. Carlos, the original drummer for Cheap Trick, he kind of, he kind of looks like he could be, I don't know, a lawyer, I guess. Probably more than one of these <laughs> musicians look more like a, a lawyer than a rock star, but he is an, uh, an amazing drummer. And it's too bad that he isn't in uh, cheap trick anymore. So that's bunny Carlos. And next up is now th this shot is from some TV show where I think he's, He's just doing a solo number, but it's Mike Mills from R.E.M. Kind of looks like a, a college student, I guess. Uh, not your typical looking rock star. I look more like a rock star than Mike Mills. <laughs> but once again, you know, great talent. Now, back in the day, flutes just weren't very rock and roll. But thanks to musicians like Ian Anderson, they became, you know, pretty popular in rock music. And he certainly wasn't your typical rock star with his cod piece and <laughs> the way he would dress throughout the years. But uh, definitely a, uh, a musical genius in my books. Now, I could have actually probably chosen the whole Moody Blues band. They aren't, overall, they're not the, the hippest looking rock band. Uh, but the one that's always stood out for me is Ray Thomas. And it's only recently that I've realized what an amazing singer he is. And uh, once again, he plays the flute just like Ian Anderson. And uh, I'm re really obsessed with the Moody Blues rec recently, the last couple of weeks. And I have a lot more to say about them, so that will be coming up. But, uh, yeah. And rest in peace, Ray Thomas. Just not your typical looking rock star. And there's some early footage of him here and some later footage. But what a voice. And going way, way back in time, Buddy Holly. Once again, kind of a nerdy looking guy. The anti Elvis Presley for looks, I guess. But, you know, he was super popular. Uh, influenced the Beatles, of course, and many other bands. Just a great talent. And 
You know, it's not always about the looks. And, of course, Elvis Costello, kind of, uh, not copying him, but kind of looking a little bit like B Buddy Holly when, you know, that's one of the first thoughts I, when I first saw Elvis Costello, it's, that looks like Buddy Holly. And once again, not your typical looking rock star, <laughs> especially with the way he dances. <laughs> Of course, I had to include Ron Mail of Sparks. Yes, he looks like, I think, I guess he looks like he works at an office, some office building. And he went for this look because he, he realized he couldn't compete with his brother, Russell, you know, who would be the, you know, the lead singer. The lead singer usually gets most of the focus for the most part. And so he did the opposite where... He just kind of sat there and made some silly faces and was the anti-rock star. And it worked. And it was funny as hell, too. And up next, another nerdy kind of looking rock star. Looks looking like your typical nerdy college student. Apologies to any nerdy college students out there. David Byrne from Talking Heads. This is some early footage of him. And two more to go. This definitely is not your typical looking rock star. It is the amazing guitarist coming up any second now. And of course, the great Robert Fripp. He looks more like a, I don't know, college professor than a rock star. And usually always sitting in a chair, even back in the early 70s. Just not your typical wild and crazy rock star. And finally, of course, Meatloaf, uh, you know, in his early years, he was pretty, pretty overweight. And, you know, once again, when you first saw him, it's like, wow, that, that's the singer. He's nothing against overweight people, but it's just, it wasn't typical back then, even earlier on with Mama Cass from the Mamas and the Papas, overweight people were kind of, I don't know, looked down on, I guess, in some ways, but uh, he became a huge superstar. And rest in peace, Meatloaf. And that's not making out of my channel. <laughs> so yeah, I'd be curious what other musicians you feel are uh, not your typical looking rock stars, as I keep saying. Thank you for watching. Looking forward to your comments below. Bye.